So I'm sitting here at the coffee shop and um, was scrolling through Twitter uh, this morning. And this really, if you've been following along, you've been knowing that I'm in like this valley period of the vlog and really trying to identify the identity of the of the vlog and myself, you know, and how I'm growing with it. And I happened to stumble across this tweet from old uh, Lehman. Uh, basically breaking down, if you haven't read the book from Rick Rubin, uh, The Creative Art, A Way of Being, definitely, definitely encourage you to pick it up. I've read it before, but it, it really reminded me of these 13 questions um, to help me unlock, you know, the my potential, the vlog potential, and, you know, spark some ideas and innovation. So I'm going to go through these 13 questions. And when I went through it, it really helped put things in perspective. Like, I really needed to see this this morning. Um, so the first question he says to ask is, what excites you most about this project right now? And he really encourages you to really find the, enth the enthusiasm that really fuels the vlog. And I'm just going to read through each thing. I'm not going to go into the detail, but um, I'll post this this thread in the show notes if you want to read more um but anyway question number two he asked if you could remove any limitations or expectations what would you create good question how can we strip this down to the essential elements if you know me i'm an essentialist i call myself a venture essentialist and i'm always looking for the essential things and sometimes and as I'm reflecting on it with you right now, sometimes like we make things more complex than what they have to be. And this this question really challenged me to say, am I making this too complex? Um, question number four, what if we try the opposite of what we're doing? I love this right now. So basically what he was saying is in finding contradiction, if I would do something opposite, that could spark creativity. So that was a really challenging question. Um, how would a child approach this problem? Ooh, this one was another good one. Um, what's the simplest way to express this idea? If this was your last business venture, how would you approach it differently? Like I said, all these questions are just all sparking ideas. And I'm gonna go through this. I'm actually gonna go through this over the weekend and really turn this into like, uh, a self-examination uh, for the vlog itself. Um, what aspects of nature could inspire a new direction for this project? How can we create more space or stillness within the work? Mmm, that's a good one. Because sometimes less is more. Okay, what if we embrace the mistakes or accidents happening during the process? Which is something I do pretty good. Like, I, I'm I want this to be as authentic as possible, and I always, I never present the most perfect product. I want it to be um, mistakes. I want those things to be there. Um, question number 11, how would this project change if we had unlimited time and resources? Question number 12, what's the core feeling or essence we're trying to convey? And then the last question was, if we had to explain this work to someone from a completely different industry, how would we do it? So these are 13 questions that I'm actually going to, I went through it briefly this morning, but I'm actually going to go through it this weekend and use it as... So we are here now, Sage is graduating from her camp. So we are here to support her and cheer her on. So here we go. So right before I went to my daughter's gymnastic show, I had a really good conversation with a friend of mine who I would consider a, a modern renaissance man in, in regard to the way he sees the world, the way he navigates the world. Uh, but the channel that he, one of the channels 
that he uses to express his creativity is music, rap music specifically. And it was good to speak to him because it allowed me to get out of my my box and look at some look at what I'm doing from from a vlog perspective and to hear his creative process because that's how I see this vlog and it just as a reminder if you've been following along like I've been in this really this slump of sorts with you know the direction of the vlog and where, where it's going and listening to his creative process it was really good to hear like how he how he you know does his music and the foundation of everything he does, which was a reminder to me, is really remembering who you are. Um, remembering who you are and claiming who you are and assuming the power of that and what that means. And from that place, everything flows out. So sometimes when you feel these slumps, it could be that you're trying to force, that I may, that I may be trying to force something um, that's not ready right now. It's still cooking. It's still, um, un it's still unraveling, um, and I feel I, and I feel that something's shifting, uh, and I can sense that as I'm going through this this transition because it's not just the vlog itself. I shouldn't just say it's the vlog. Um, I'm saying it's the vlog because it, it's mirroring actually um, the my business life as well. It's mirroring that. In terms of there's so many things at, on the table right now that can change the game and it's kind of like there's friction and as i'm capturing the vlog you're hearing me dealing with that friction i'm just kind of labeling it as you know the vlog it's not the vlog it's it's literally a mirror into my life and what i'm experiencing i'm i'm glad i'm documenting this because i'm i, I really want to i would really want you to really hear um, how I'm navigating through it, like hearing like my how I'm, I'm I am processing everything, and yeah, it was it was just a great. I wanted to I wanted to press play. I really wanted to press play, but the the conversation was so rich. Some things aren't meant to be showed, and I you know I filtered out that some things are meant to be shown directly to the public because it was so rich. Um, of a conversation, you don't want to break that human connection, and we were in it. We were in. It. We had. A, we had a connection, and um, his music is coming out really soon. I'm really excited about it. Um, I heard it. He allowed me to listen to it um, very early for my for my input, but it, it was just refreshing to talk to an actual artist who uses music as one of the you know one of the channels in which he expresses himself. And to hear his process kind of freed me. It freed me. It really did. It really freed me on my approach, not just to the vlog, but to um, my business dealings as well. So, stay tuned. I don't know about you, but I've been seeing a lot of headlines um, about this whole monkeypox thing. I'm not trying to sound any any of the alarms. I just kept on seeing it. Was like, you know, I'm the type of person that I'll go down the rabbit hole. And I'll try to study the whole thing out. So I'm looking for like academic research papers. And I, I just nerd out when I go down the rabbit hole. But anyway, that's not what I wanted to um, point out. But one of the, one of the um, articles I did read was that the director of WHO, which is the World Health Organization, the same one that administered the COVID and kind of like helped coordinate, you know, shutting down COVID, and um, he basically said that mo that the monkeypox are like starting to break out. I think there was a case in America, in California, and you can do your research to find out why that's happening. Um, but that's not the point I'm trying to make here. So bear with me. Um, is that the governments, world governments, should start to plan for what he called, and I quote, mega lockdowns. Google it. Google it. Mega lockdowns. Like, well, I know we were in lockdown. So what the heck is a mega lockdown? So anyway, what it reminded me of as I'm on this, this, in this space of this slump in like the vlog direction 
it really reminded me one of the things that I said about why I wanted to do the vlog and stack up a lot of content is I was preparing for the next Black Swan event. The next Black Swan event. And the Black Swan event is an event that is like, it's an anomaly that kind of like sweeps, you know, the globe that you don't even, you don't know that's happening. Like kind of like COVID, like it happens every hundred years. Um, everything gets locked down. Cause I was preparing for, cause I remember when during that time people were online and I literally watched people build businesses in the midst of the lockdown because they took advantage of the internet. They took advantage of the tools and they were able to kind of capitalize on it. Um, and that's kind of like, it made me, it reminded me of, of that, of like, wow, there's going to be people that may need a companion. Cause I, I kept on referring to this content as companionship content, um, that may need, you know, that may gravitate towards the message that, um, I'm, I'm putting out there and just watching me, uh, juggle, you know, my family, my business and my fitness journey. And I don't want this to happen. I don't want no lockdowns, mega lockdowns to happen. But it did get me thinking and kind of like refreshed my, I remember saying that to, to people saying like, I'm, I'm building, I'm stacking up this content online so that if there is another Black Swan event that possibly people would gravitate towards it. There might be something in there. Um, gravitate towards it. So, I don't know. I was just thinking that. I just went down the rabbit hole. I just got out. If you're interested in going on that rabbit hole, Google um, monkeypox, mega lockdowns, the who, you know, the who director just said it like yes, yesterday, I think. So, I just thought that was interesting. Just in case you didn't believe me. Mega lockdowns. We don't want this to happen, but this is what they're saying. I just want to say I really appreciate each and every one of you that have been in the trenches with me as I'm going through this journey. And that's what this is all about. I wanted to take you inside of the reality of being an entrepreneur. A, it's super lonely, and it's great to have you along with the journey. But B, you know, we, I want to take you inside of like what people are thinking when they're going through some of the challenging times. Because most of the times you just see the highlights. And I know I didn't want to do that. I want to show you the lows as well as the highs. So it's going to be really exciting as, you know, I take the reins. Hey, how you doing? Good, good. Yeah, taking the reins of, of you know, the business, of my personal life, financial life, fitness life, all these things and turning it around um, and taking advantage of these lows and it's not a super low but it's a it definitely feels like I'm hitting a wall but this is always a sign of growth so I'm really excited about it but with that said I am heading home for the day if you made it this far in the video you already know what to do with that said